Hello everyone, today I will show you how to install the new firmware 486 and the official hand version 3.0.1. Firstly you need to download the new firmware. I will have the official link in the description of the video. When you download it and extract it, move it to your USB stick and make a folder path as the one I show you. You also have to rename the update, so it looks exactly as mine. After that turn on your PS3 system. I usually format my PS3 before installing new firmwares but that's completely personal preference. Now there are two ways of installing this firmware. I'm going to show you both. First way is by the PS3 menu, on the settings column, through the system update tab. Press it and choose update via storage media and install the 486 firmware. The second way of doing this is through recovery menu. I will show you now how it is done. Specific safe mode option. To enter safe mode, press and hold the power button to turn the PS3 system on and keep your finger on the button. You should hear one beep when you first press the button, and another beep about 5 seconds later, and a third beep after you've held the power button for approximately 10 seconds. The PS3 system will power down after the third beep. This is normal and is a required step in accessing the safe mode menu. Release the power button after the third beep and then press it again holding your finger down on the button. Just like before, you'll hear one beep when the PS3 starts up, a second beep about five seconds later, but after that you will hear two beeps in close succession. At this point, you should see an on-screen message that prompts you to connect a wireless controller to your PS3 system with a USB cable and then press the PS button. Follow these instructions to enter the safe mode menu. After the firmware is installed, Go to your PS3 browser and make sure to disable browser confirm close, as you see on this image. Then go to the tab PS3 hand and choose one of the two first options. Whatever works for your PS3. It is the same thing. I did the second method. Now when this ends and everything is installed, reboot your PS3, turn it back on and enable HEN. You now have the new official HEN on the currently latest firmware. Tutorials on 486 Homebrew will be uploaded soon. Have fun and thank you for watching.